now we are going to begin with the understanding of this term that is population as far as the geneticists are concerned how they are going to define this population they are going to define this population as a group of individuals of the same species living together in a common area at a particular time from a population of that area okay i have given a two definition from geneticist point of view the next definition is a population is a group of interbreeding or potentially interbreeding individuals so let's focus what does the word population means according to geneticist so they say that this population is what a group of individuals of the same species remember same species living together in a common area at a particular time form a population of that area okay and another definition what does this convey let's read it a population is a group of interbreeding or potentially interbreeding individuals so what do we actually infer from these two definitions which are from the geneticists point of view they say for example if we have frogs okay rana tigrina is the scientific name of frog so they are uh, living in a pond so the, the the frogs that are living in a particular pond actually correspond to population according to these two definitions okay because why they are a group of individuals of the same species right and they live in a common area at a particular time and they are a group of interbreeding or potentially interbreeding individuals so that means if i'm talking about frog which are living in a pond so they constitute the population but if we talk about frogs living in some other pond at some other habitat so they also constitute a population so according to geneticists remember a population is a group of interbreeding or potentially interbreeding individuals which live together in a common area at a particular time and they form the population of that area so this is from the geneticist point of view okay when we talk from uh, the demographic point of view what is demography demography is the study of this population so the demographic point of view says that population is the total number of individuals of the same species occupying a particular geographic area at a given time so you know this definition varies from the the study area to other study area okay what i mean to say is if we are going to talk about the population in terms of uh, geneticists right they're going to say this what we have read before but when you talk about the demographic point of view that is the study of population in terms of number of people okay so then the definition was given by clark in 1954 so what does clark said in 1954 was total number of individuals what is population the total number of individuals of the same species occupying a particular geographic area at a given time so means if we talking about human beings living in a city or living in a state that is population according to the demographic point of view that is a study of this population okay if we talk in terms of genetics then these are the definitions of population according to genetics or you can say ecology also ecology of populations also next remember that in 1600 the population was 0.5 billion here i am moving on to very important aspect just try to understand what i am trying to say right now in 1600 the population was 0.5 billion and it doubled after every 200 years okay so this population doubled after every 200 years then you can say now it doubles every 35 years so now it is doubling after every 35 years what does this means doubling after every 35 years it means now the rate of growth of population has actually increased what is that increase it is 2% per year now now if we talk about the in, uh, the rate of increase of population that is 2% per year and uh, i also have something to say about the un reports 
UN reports say that in 2000, the population of the world was around 6 billion. Okay, it was around 6 billion. Okay. So, remember that in 1600, the population was 0.5 billion. It doubled after every 200 years, right? But now, this effect, the doubling of the population is seen after every 35 years. You can see the difference. There was there were 200 years and now we talk about doubling of population of after every 35 years. And the rate of this increase of population is 2% per year. What does UN says? UN says that in 2000, the population was around 6 billion. Okay. So, next we are moving on to that the population of India is also growing. Since India is a developing country, so the rate of increase of population as compared to other countries that are developed in India, it is quite high. Okay. We will discuss the reasons. So, the population is continuously increasing. Okay. The rate of rate, you see this 2% per year. The rate of increase of population, it is this. So, and, the, and this population which doubles, it now doubles after every 35 years instead of 200 years earlier. So, I have some data also for you which you need to actually study. In 1986, the world population was 5 billion. In 1998, it was 6 billion. In 2011, it was 7 billion. In 2024, it is expected to be 8 billion and then 9 billion and by 2061, it is going to be 10 billion. So, this is what is expected world population in 2061 that is 10 billion. Okay. So, what overall we are actually going to discuss under this topic is what do we mean by actual population explosion? What are the factors which contribute to this increase in the rate of population? Okay, And we are also going to discuss how we can actually control this rate because this leads to several consequences. But why this, why this increase? Why this world population is increasing? Of course, because of good, better health facilities. There are availability of food resources, new food resources in fact. And better health facilities have led to this increase in population. So, let us summarize what we have done in this introduct introductory video. Population is what? It is a group of individuals of the same species living together in a common area at a particular time form a population of that area. This definition I told you is according to the geneticists. And the population is a group of interbreeding or potentially interbreeding individuals. But according to demographic point of view, that is the study of population, when we talk in terms of numbers in case of a city or a local area or, or the whole world as you can say, the definition is total number of individuals of the same species, obviously they need to be of the same species occupying a particular geographic area at a given time and this definition was given by Clark in 1954. So, what we have the data, we have discussed that in 1600 the population was 0.5 billion and it doubled after every 200 years. But now we, if we talk about the rate of increase in population, the population doubles every 35 years. So, this is how this, there is a drastic increase in the rate of increase of population. So, according to UN, in 2000, there were 6 billion people. And I have also shown you this data of the world population. When population increases at such a drastic rate, what happens? We call this as population explosion. Population explosion. So, in fact, it is said that every second, throughout the world, every second, two people are born, two persons are born every second. And if you talk about uh, India, then 50 children are born every minute. In India, 50 children are born every minute. So, this, this increase in population at such a higher rate is known as what we call as population explosion. 
okay so i hope that the initial introductory part of this population is very clear to you now